Despite the insane amount of money he makes with the Iron Man movie franchise, Robert Downey Jr. has revealed that he's looking to hang up that Iron Man suit after Avengers 2 hits theaters. In an interview with 2Fab.com, Robert admitted that not only did he make a ridiculous amount of money by playing Tony Stark, he's actually guaranteed about $50 million for the next Avengers movie. So with all that money, why does Robert want to hang up a suit? He says an injury sustained during filming got him thinking, quote, how many genre movies can I do? And follow up that statement with quote how many follow-ups to a successful follow-up are actually fun unquote good point robert avengers 2 will be the fifth film in which downey jr has played tony stark singer pete wentz appeared on watch what happens live in order to promote the new fallout boy album where he opened up about his personal life host andy cohen asked pete about his former relationship with ashley simpson to which he replied quote we're both parents and we're in it for our kid unquote referring to their son bronx he also called ashley an awesome mom and when he was asked about his former sister-in-law jessica simpson pete referred to her as a secret genius considering she runs a multi-billion dollar company as for those naked pictures of pete that surfaced on the internet a while back. P claims the worst part about it was explaining them to his mom. Awkward. He did, however, say that the upside was that any woman he gets involved with will now know exactly what she has to work with. Arch enemies Chris Brown and Drake are at it again. This time, Drake is coming at Chris in a very public way, criticizing him over his music and the way he's treated his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Rihanna. While appearing on the Keep It Thorough show with Elliot Wilson, Drake said that Chris's insecurities are not only negatively affecting his music, but are also the reason that Rihanna has spent some time with him while she and Chris were taking a break. Mm-hmm. Drake added that Rihanna liked him because he treated her with respect, implying that this is something Chris has trouble doing. Drake did say, however, that he would be open to a reconciliation with Brown, stating that, quote, we have an issue and it's either going to drag out or maybe in 10 years we'll laugh about it over drinks, unquote. Lindsay Lohan was spotted over the weekend at Coachella looking sober. In fact, sources say that Lindsay didn't drink, do drugs, or smoke at the music festival and avoided all after parties, too. As far as her impending rehab, though, she's already giving herself an out. Lindsay's been saying that if the Seafried Center, where she's going to be doing her rehab, takes away her Adderall, she's out. And according to sources, this is exactly what the facility plans to do. While the Seafried Center is open to allowing people to take drugs prescribed by their doctors while in their facility, they're less open to Adderall because many people tend to abuse it. While Adderall is mainly taken for ADD, many take the drug due to its weight loss side effects as well as to get high. When faced with patients using Adderall, Seafield usually weans them off the drug or substitutes it with another medication. Lilo has been a hardcore Adderall user for years and she's telling friends that there's no way she'll take anything else, claiming that she's tried all the other meds and Adderall is the only one that works for her. But is she in a position to make such a demand. Lindsay heads to rehab next month where she's supposed to do 90 days as part of a plea bargain deal. Rumor has it that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are thinking about having a French baby. The couple was spotted walking around the streets of Paris last weekend and allegedly scoped out a hospital and its maternity ward. We've learned that Kim and Kanye are thinking about having the baby in Paris due to the strict anti-paparazzi laws there. And we're sure it doesn't hurt that Kanye has a crazy sweet pad there. Kim and Kanye's baby is due this July. Katy Perry may be going to court to sue a hair care company for two million bucks over a contract the company is claiming never existed. Here's the story. Back in 2011, Katy had a $4.5 million written contract with Good Hair Day products for two years. Her agent claims that Katy is owed an additional $2 million in an oral agreement that extended her contract. But the company is saying they never entered into any such agreement due to the pop star's dwindling fame. Ouch. I guess you're hot than you're cold. Jamel group, the company behind GHD, is claiming they never agreed to renew the singer's contract because market research shows Europeans just aren't that into her. Katie doesn't think that's the issue. She claims they backed out of the deal due to an ownership change. But that's no excuse. The bottom line, Katie wants that $2 million. That's all for now. I'm Jennifer Reed. Keep your eye on Celebrity.